Davis Akesa Matara would have been a billionaire by now if a business deal he invested all his savings in thrived. But Wednesday, he stands outside the Milimani police station, not only a heartbroken man, but a bitter Nairobian who fell into the corn hands of a businesswoman who had what was then considered a treasure, now an exhibit of a criminal offence, an egg-shaped object in the custody of the deputy head of the Flying Squad, Francis Wanjau. The mysterious object, which was valued at 200 billion shillings last year by the said businesswoman, is what is causing sleepless nights for Matara and 139 other Kenyans. <laughs> akasema kwamba kwa sababu mzungu amesema analipa 250 billion na akakata kwamba halipi kwa mtu mmoja hizi pesa zitaenda kwa um, watu kama group kwa sababu pesa hizi ni nyingi zaidi so akasema kwamba ni vizuri tu form group ambayo itaenda kupokea pesa hizi that is how it started with the said woman asking them to contribute money in fact a bank account to deposit the money was provided pesa za kunwe kichombo hazikuwa za huyo mama zilikuwa za mtu tofauti. Sasa na zile pesa zilikuwa 500,000. Sasa tukawa tuka, tunaanza kutoa pesa kidogo kidogo ili kwamba zitoshe zile pesa tu eh, 500,000 turudishie yule mtu. Sasa ikawa kila mtu registration anatoa pesa taslim ni shilingi 1500. For Matara, it was an investment of a lifetime. He parted with 1200 na zaidi. The suspect was so convincing to the extent that a meeting was held at a GSU camp alikuwa anaongea ni kama mcha Mungu kwa sababu pia baada ya kukaa kwa kikao anaomba baada ya kuamka kwa kikao ana, anafanya maombi some say it looks like a lamp others an explosive but the deputy in charge of flying squad says those who claim ownership call it german antique a popularly known as stove whatever the name an elderly woman from Western Kenya is said to have invested 200,000 shillings in what has been termed as just nothing but uh, scrap metal. As the main suspect is being held by the police as investigations are carried out, the over 140 Kenyans continue to count their losses. Judicus Gay, Citizen Live at Nine.